Hey girl, hey, it's me, Diamond Lachey, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a Get Ready With Me featuring BoxyCharm October box. And on top of that, girl, our topic is about feeling stuck and in a rut and just all over the place with your life. Um, if you want to hear more about how I've been feeling lately and get into this BoxyCharm box with me, just keep on watching. <laughs> So today we are going to do a get ready with me and I'm super happy because we're featuring October's BoxyCharm box and I love BoxyCharm because it's literally five full size products for $25 and if you're somebody like me who is trying to like dab their feet into makeup this way you get to try different products different brands different literally everything curated just for you and your skin type so first let's break down this box before we get into doing our the day so but awkward this month is october so the theme is spellbound which is so cute like how cute is this first we got the treluce beauty it is like an art artista it's a four piece brush set Ooh, these are the brushes oh they're like this like lavender purple blue color super cute this is the ace beauty falling for you eyeshadow palette um, I'm just now getting into eyeshadows. I used to be a, I don't really care for eyeshadow girl, but now I'm like, you know, it's fall and temperatures are dropping. I want to get into like all the browns and the reds and the, yeah, I'm excited for this. We got the, oh, this is pretty. Hold on. Look at these. Look, look at those shades. This is pretty. It has the shimmers that I like. And then the, I was just talking about the deep reds browns and it's just like really pretty orange that I want to use we're gonna get into some things in this video honey it's the appeal it's a appeal adhesive liquid liner we got the Kamari unique beauty um la lashes this is a Mary lash oh girl not me ashy and then finally we got the Tarte C Wink H2O this is the Vegan collagen eye cream. Oh, cute. Eye cream. The eye cream retails for $35. The palette retails for $35. The uh, brush set is $27. And the uh, lashes are $25. And then the Appeal Cosmetics, the liquid liner is $29. But I got all these products for $25 a month. So. How do you say steal? First, I'm gonna start because I didn't put on any sunscreen this morning. Um, when I did my skincare, I did not do my sunscreen because I was like, I'm gonna let everything melt down on my face and then do my sunscreen. By the way, your girl has red hair. Today, we are gonna be talking about feeling in a rut because girl, when I tell you it has been the hardest thing for me to get back into a routine. Um, I had a solid routine. The third quarter, I had a solid routine. Like literally, I was waking up early, I was working out, uh, living my best life, you know? Doing all the things that I need to do. I wanna get another one of these, cause girl, we empty. Um, and then, fast forward to the end of Q3, it just was, I just fell off, like literally, I wasn't working out anymore and I started well you guys don't know but I'm bartending again at night so girl I'll be up to like 12 I'm no longer going to sleep early it's just it's been a lot it's been a lot this past quarter and then um, now I'm working literally seven days a week so <sighs> season I'm in a season of my life. I don't have any kids. Um, it's just me, so I can. So I can work like that, but. Just because you can, don't mean you want to. Yeah, I'm like working every day, and I have a trainer. You guys know I train with Gian uh, four days a week. And I have not been getting on my Zoom training. like, And she's like, what's going on with you? So, I just feel, I don't know, it's kind of weird. 
it's weird. I feel all over the place. Um, you guys know I moved back home last year um, to just save money. Uh, my mom lives in Michigan, Detroit to be exact. Um, I was living in Atlanta because I went to Park Atlanta and then I graduated last year. But this is like life after graduation. I'm 24, so it's like, if you were to ask me when I was in school, like, girl, what you gonna do when I 24? I would have never told you I was moving back home. I also would have never told you I was doing any of this, to be exact. Like, I was literally, I had my life not planned out, but like, you know, you make plans, you think it's gonna go a certain way, and then it doesn't. So, yeah, I just think coming back home was a lot. And then, you know, what's crazy is life after graduation really is just you think after being in school for all these years you have some structure you you're, and now you're an adult like you're a real adult and no one tells you like girl this adulthood people don't tell us like being an adult is ghetto but like it's very ghetto like who girl i'm gonna come back when my brows are done Brows are somewhat done. I'm about to use my new brush, my Trelus, whatever, to blend out my concealer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah. Last year, I just felt like, girl, you went to school and did all of that just to come back home and be literally just working. Like, no tea, no shade, but like, what was the point? And I just got to a point where I am okay. I'm actually blessed. Like, I live at home. I don't pay any, like, rent or anything and then on top of that I am at a place where I don't have to leave like you know some parents some people's parents are like pushing them out I don't have to deal with that like my mom literally if I would stay here forever she would be okay um <laughs> so like you know I'm, I'm there and then so I'm trying to get to a specific savings goal before I leave that's a pretty steep goal to me. Like people be like, why didn't you, why don't you move out? And that's what my goal, they be like, girl, you don't have to have that to move, which is true. I know I don't have to, but like, I just really want to be comfortable when I leave. You know, I don't want to have to figure it out or struggle or any of the things. I really just want to be set when I move out because I don't want to have to come back. <laughs> I really thought like I would be using my degree. I know these videos about to be literally all over. I'm gonna prime my lips with some tart concealer. You know at the beginning of the year I was traveling like literally I went to Aruba I went to Jamaica I went to Cancun girl I was in Miami LA like I was literally all over and then I had to sit down because I'm like girl you not gonna be doing both like you can't reap when you harvest I understand that like I really get like sometimes you gotta sit down to get the life you want and I'm okay with that but especially with me like I'm happiest when I'm traveling and not to say I'm not happy when I'm not but that's when I am truly um most fulfilled I guess you can say I'm gonna start with this pine cone color the shade um from my new palette granted I still was going places but that's not to say that I just took a break completely from traveling I just was traveling smaller places and within the US so but I do miss like all my friends are in Atlanta and I, well, I have friends in different places but all my friends are not here so I'm missing them and missing my life in Atlanta because girl I used to be lit and just you know feeling stuck I truly believe that everything happens for a reason like literally I came home for a reason I don't know if it was to meet people or network or what but like I came here for a reason so rather than hating being here I need to discover that reason God brought you here so another thing is just that like so it's no middle ground for me I thrive in a routine like not doing the same thing but literally like having a solid routine and that's the one thing that I miss with quarantine is that I really made some solid routines for myself like 
I miss the waking up and I would go for a raw, I would go for a run and I literally had all day to plan whatever I wanted to do. And I missed that aspect of it because your girl was in her bidag. You understand that I'm in like the grind season and I'm okay with that. But at the same time, at the same time, I do want to get back into creating content and I do want to get back into blogging when I was taking my pictures and writing my blog posts and doing all the things. Like, I definitely, I definitely miss that. What can I do to get myself back there? That's where I'm at. I'm actually going to go in with this dark color, just in the corner though. Feeling like this, it, this can't be it. Like I know what I'm meant to do and I know what I want for my life. So it has to be more. So just, girl, just figuring out what that more is, is where I'm at. Figuring out like, okay, um, you know, you say you want this, so let's do that. So that's really it. I'm actually going with this like spice color and I'm only going to put the spice on my lid. So yeah, I understand that like motivation is fickle and what you need in the times where you are feel unmotivated is strict discipline and like habits to help you remain disciplined but like, I don't know, I'm trying to extend myself some grace but like. I don't know, maybe it's anxiety. You know how like you want something so bad for yourself? Like you literally could feel it for yourself. You want it so bad to happen. And you're just waiting on your moment. Oh, this is cute. Come on, don't mind my lashes. Doing the best that I can to really thrive. Um, during this season because like I said life isn't bad I'm trying to look at the glass half full uh, I just feel like I had to let go of the guilt of moving back home you know the plans that we have for our lives and then compared to like God's plans for us are like his are always gonna be so much greater so just getting to a place where that is the focus but it's hard you know it's hard when you see something that you want for yourself and you see a life that you deserve to live and you just feel like you're working and I'm out there like literally I work every single day so I do work hard I just but then it's like you'll never be this young again and I just am trying to learn how to find a rhythm and a routine where even though I'm working every day I'm still pouring into my own um, brand and business and content creation and blog and all the things I don't have the mentality like I don't want to build someone else's brand that's not me but like I don't want to work for everybody else and, and just never never put into my own cup or never find the time people say you make time for what you want so like girl I'm still traveling and I'm still seeing my friends like I'm I have time but it's just managing it and trying to fit all these things I want to do into the time that I have it's kind of tough I'm going back to my old faithful the LA pro girl uh, LA girl concealer because I've been using it lately and I'm like why did I stop using it So while that melts down, I'm going to turn on my flat iron because girl, we gotta straighten our hair. Um, we're going to work. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I do do a full face for work sometimes when I feel like it. I do like these brushes though for like eyeshadow. And I feel like big, I'm gonna use this actually for my contour too. Love these brushes. And girl, look at my eyes. I really like that palette. But yeah, I'm just, you know how you're just in a rut. Like you just feel like, I just want to be doing more I just I really want to know how I can fit in doing more for my brand and my business 
while still working my nine to five. Because this is my baby and I do really, 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 really want to end up doing this full time within the next two years. Um, I really don't want to be working. I want to be literally blogging full time. Um, so, yeah, girl, that's just where I'm at. I just feel like life is just, life be life in. Like, literally, life be life in. That statement is so true. And it just, it's so easy to get caught up in the mode mundane of just working that you forget. Like, girl, what about the plans that you want for yourself, you know? What about the things that you you want to do? What about the 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 business that you want? You don't you don't want to get caught up and granted working is great and working for a check, but like I missed during the pandemic having all the time in the world to just do my own thing. Like literally, that's when I created the Girl Boss series when I was uh, interviewing different girl bosses, and I miss that chapter, you know. And I think everything has a season understanding what season you're in because when I was in college and I was going to all these like events and I was literally like doing the legwork for my blog I can't help but miss that um I definitely miss that season like that was a good season <laughs> waking up and just girl blogging full time going to all the events when I had met Nisha and Najee remember at that NARS event girl I just really miss that and I think understanding like I did a blog post on seasons and learning what season you're in like girl I'm literally I'm getting to a place where I'm no longer grieving the old seasons of my life and I'm just like acknowledging like girl that was the season and this is the season and the season will pass this season will pass it's just it's okay to grieve the other seasons, but just understand that everything happens for a moment. Seasons don't last forever. Before you know it, it's gonna be me blogging full time and you know, missing this. And you know another thing that also helps, like when you feel like everything is just so mundane and you're doing the same thing over and over. Start to like, like I love the movies for me. I literally like, I love going to the movies so try to add things that you like into your schedule and it will help because it's like you can fit in that or start to do like make things pretty like I was watching Aaliyah's face video and she was talking about how um, to like if you're gonna make dinner make it on a fancy place like we like things that are aesthetically pleasing to us so do your normal routine, do your normal things, but just add an extra flavor into it, add some extra love into it, that way you can actually enjoy it. Like, you gotta eat dinner, why not put it on a nice plate? <laughs> like, you know, a little thing to make the simple things in life a little bit more enjoyable. Zayna was saying, burnout is real. And then you know, Mercury Retrograde was just here at uh, that just gets everybody together. Um, tough. That's literally it. Uh, on a brighter note, next week is Halloween. Before you know it, it's gonna be Christmas. And we'll be right back into a new year. I can't believe it. Time be fly. Time for sure does fly. Like, that's no doubt about it. More of the story understand everything happens for a reason extend some grace to yourself because you're just doing the best that you can and you know like I like I always say you're the author of your own life so if you don't like something change it you know what book I read that really helped you a little bit atomic habits I'm using the uphill adhesive liquid liner in jet black atomic habits really was a good book and it like shifted things. Oh, girl, I done messed up this liner. <gasps> what else can y'all do? Girl, this eye looks crazy. Once again, just doing the best that we can. <laughs> Hopefully, this little thing that I'm in is over. 
But uh, yeah, this is the final look. It's literally my everyday look. Uh, I'm sorry. My everyday look, but I just added some eyeshadow. Uh, I did mess up on my eyeliner and got that all over my lid. But um, I hope this video finds you some comfort, like you're not alone. If you're feeling in a rut like me, like you are just doing the same things that you never thought you would be doing, or you're just all over the place like me, uh, it's just life and 20 somethings and figuring it out and understand that we are all doing the best that we can. Extend yourself some grace because, girl, you're still here, your heart's still beating. And it's not that deep. Understand that you are the artist of your life. You get to design however you want it to be. And if you don't like something, change it. And like I said, I don't think that I like that I work seven days a week. That could be it. I could be drained. I could be tired. Um, I do want to get back into working out because I did have my mind a little bit more disciplined and trained. Um, but figure it out. Figure what it is for you. Um, this is just your own path. But don't feel stuck you gotta find things to get yourself out of the stuckness like for me it's going to the movies it's doing like a little short vacation to see my friends it's recharging myself by watching a netflix show and just sitting down and doing nothing it's letting my creative juices flow in it's getting my hair you know find what it is that makes you happy and even if you're not doing living the life that you want to live you're still designing it um do those things and it will definitely help you like maybe go get you a little massage or something you know but yeah thank you so much to boxy charm for sending me this box and giving me this face yeah <laughs> thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe so sorry for this video being all over the place but girl i was like let me just share this because i can't be the only one feeling stuck in a rut i will see you guys in my next video